Welcome back to another edition of the O1 Spotlight. My name is Tom Heath. I am one of your co-hosts on this adventure. I also happen to have a radio show on Downtown Radio every Sunday at 11.30 called Life Along the Streetcar. My co-host is Zach Yenser. He is a radio host on KVOI The Voice every day because he is popular. And together we bring you the O1 Spotlight, the faces behind the places making downtown great. And today we're in a brand new wine shop. If you've been downtown in a while, you may have missed this, but it's called Swaff. We're with one of the owners here, Brian. And Brian, tell us a little bit about this fabulous space. Yeah, uh, so Swaff um, concept is just kind of a simple corner store wine shop, mostly uh, supplying the neighborhood with the necessary bottles for dinner and partying and all that. Um, but definitely within mostly the umbrella of the natural wine movement. So that's one part in the agricultural side, kind of organic, biodynamic, regenerative properties. And then also in the winemaking, something we call minimal intervention. So basically just trying to let the wine speak for itself, don't tinker too much, don't acidify, don't add too much. But in the end, mostly just um, accessible, drinkable, um, fun wines from all over the world. And the name, S-O-I-F, it's Soif. Yep, it's, uh, it comes from a French phrase called uh, Vin de Soif, which is a wine of thirst. It's meaning a wine that you don't, you know, put in your cellar and hold there for 40 years, you just crack it open and enjoy it with friends. Very good. Quench your thirst. <clears throat> so you are one of the owners here, but you also have been in downtown for years. Ever, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wait, you, tell us a little about your history. Oh uh, yeah, before this, I opened the Owls Club, uh, just a few blocks south of here, which will be reopening next week, actually. We took our little COVID break, but we're ready to come back with a patio. And years before that, I helped open Tanka, the restaurant, a few, few doors down. Um, before that, I was uh, one of the um, first bartenders at Scott & Company, so three blocks north. <laughs> and then before that, I was working at Maynard's as a bartender back in the day, in the early days of Maynard's. That's actually where I got my uh, sommelier training. I'm going to did all the courses there, but that time in Tucson wasn't drinking much wine. We were definitely more of a cocktail town. So now I finally get to geek out with a wine shop. Well, I think we're going to edit this and just show all the places you haven't worked, because that's going to save us <laughs> a lot right. of time. Uh, very few places you've not uh, had your, your hand your hand uh, prints on, uh, but Swaff is doing is doing a, a lot of different regional wines, local wines. I mm -hmm. saw some for Wilcox. It's, yes, absolutely. It's just uh, yep, trying to show off the the best and the the kind of you know truest expression of wine from every place around the world. Um, you know, kind of honest representations of terroir, not anything. You know, don't lie about where you come from. Just accept it and show it off. Yeah. Well, you chose to open during a pandemic, so that was uh, a bit brave of you. Yeah, I mean, we definitely, uh, that wasn't necessarily the plan. Um, originally, this is going to be a full wine bar, was the plan. Um, kind of cafe style with some patio seating. We were really excited about that because um, both Panka and Owls both kind of have that dark kind of, you know, almost industrial gruff feeling. So we were happy to, both me and Patricia and my partner, to have kind of a light, airy, more, you know, friendly, relaxing spot. Um, but then that was going to be last April and then everything happened so we real quick kind of retooled and rebuilt and changed the format to a retail wine spot. Just been doing great. Um, everyone's still drinking just as much they're just doing it at home. <laughs> and how do people find you? What's your website, phone number, how do they, how yeah. do they get a hold of you? Yeah, I mean I'd say right now probably half our business are just people walking past. Everyone still who lives nearby and people who don't live nearby it's just kind of become tradition to come you know, Saturday morning you come downtown and walk around. That's just kind of, you know, that's what most people do. So right now there's not as many places to stop, but hopefully that'll change soon. Um, so yeah, mostly just walking, walk through traffic. And then a lot of people, just regulars from other bars that I've worked at who know, know where I'm going to be at. Do, can you purchase, uh, can you order online and things like yep, that? Yeah, we have a full, um, full online system, everything inventory, beautiful photos and everything. Um, we do deliveries as well. What's the website? Uh, Swafwines.com. Okay. S O I F. Wines.com. Yep. Uh, how, how about gift certificates, things like that? Yep. Here? Gift okay. cards. We do it all. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, this is Brian, one of the faces behind the places making downtown great. We're in the Swaf Wine Shop right here in the corner of Broadway and Scott. And if you happen to be out for a walk on a beautiful Saturday morning, stop on in. I think you're open from 12 to 8 every day. 12 to 8 every day. 12 to 8 every day. And uh, pick up a little uh, pandemic medicine. We'll see you next week for another episode of the O1 Spotlight.